Hello everyone. I'm on the island of Jersey in the one of the Channel Islands. And the cows are named after this, I think. I won't get into history, which I'm not very good at. Anyway, we're here with Luis Diaz, a good friend, resident of the island, originally from Portugal. And so Luis, tell us, uh, first of all, when did you and how did you become a Jehovah's Witness? Yeah, that started in 1986, mm -hmm. when my brother, in the end of the season, he takes some books and magazines in Portuguese from here, and I straight, straight away start reading them. Right. Uh, especially the book, um, the book uh, Live Forever, book oh, I right. read in one week, uh -huh. and I found something interesting. So, funny enough, these books and magazines have been given to my brother by the hands of my wife today. Right. You're, you're, at that time, she wasn't, of course. Of course not. Right. Um, uh, she knows my brother. Yeah. And he, that was on the island of Jersey that she yes, what, lived. Yes, 84. Okay. So, um, uh, later, uh, in the beginning of 2000, uh, 1987, mm -hmm. uh, because I got another brother become baptized in March, and he talked to the elders there to come and visit my brother. When they come in March, is come back to Jersey because it's a seasonal uh, worker. Okay. Right. And um, instead of talking to that, to him, they're talking to me and my father and my mother. Mm -hmm. So uh, we agree with the Bible study. And then uh, late in 1988, 1988 mm -hmm. I've been baptized for 35 years as mm -hmm. a witness. But the thing changed. Even I read the Bible three or four times in that time, um, I cannot see the things like today when I start to read the Bible from the COVID 2019, right. in 2020, when I read the Bible so many, many times and I start to see the flaws yeah. between the doctrines and the teachings of Jehovah's Witness to the Bible, they're not fit. Now, you, you've told me that you've read the Bible from, from start to finish, I think, 14 times so far in your lifetime. F 15 times. 15 times, okay. Yeah. But um, what's interesting is only no, since that, COVID. That, since COVID, 15 times since COVID. But I read the Bible four or five times before. Ah, okay. Yeah. But with COVID, you just kept reading it over and over. Yeah. And as a result of reading it, you began to see the, the doctrines weren't consistent yeah. with and Scripture. They're not fit with the Scriptures. Right. And, um, Which, everyone, you should know that if you want to become an apostate from the viewpoint of Jehovah's Witnesses, the best book of apostasy is the Bible. <laughs> That'll yeah. wake you up. Yeah, because... Uh, when I start going to field service with the, with the brothers and sisters, I start talk about the things I know from the Bible. Mm -hmm. Instead of talking to me or answer to me, they will right. go to the elders. Yes, that's typical. Is when they meet me at my home mm -hmm. to talk to me and meet me two weeks after in the kin hall in the back room. The right. same two elders, mm -hmm. like you know, you got the. I got the recording. The yes. recording, and uh, they tried to help me, but not with the Bible. Right. They tried to conform me with the laws and procedures and the doctrines of the organization. Right. And I'm not fit inside that. No. So, I carry on go a few more meetings, and in June last year, the last meeting. I go inside, it's no COVID time, mm -hmm. and I cannot breathe inside. I, might, I start having problems of breathing. Wow. And I come out and I say to the brother by the door, look, I cannot breathe inside, I need to go out to breathe. So 
I went out and never go back. Mm. The same elder, the young one, phoned me home and apologized for anything he can say to me because he used to say to me, oh, you very spiritual brother in their point of view, right. not with the Bible. Uh, and I said to him, look, I just want to take a break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that break is quite long. Right. Never ending now mm -hmm. because I don't go back. Have they, since that time, have they come to you and talked to you more? No, never more. Mm. They forget me. Uh -huh. And uh, because some witness, they're talking to me uh, time to time when they see me. But I try to refuse to talk to them because I cannot talk spiritual things with them. Right. When they say, when they shun someone, is the family. They can talk to them, but not spiritual things. Mm. How can they speak spiritual things? They have no spirituality. Right. They cannot. Right. So, if I talk to them about the Bible, they don't understand. So, I prefer not, because a spiritual person convey mm -hmm. convey things, spiritual things with a spiritual person. Right. So, if they're not a spiritual person, they will not understand. No. So they see things only from a fleshly point of view, though they don't realize that. They think they are spiritual people because they follow the teachings of the Watchtower. Yeah, the teachings of man. Mm -hmm. Because if this happened with me too, because I thought I got the truth. Because when I come to JFC, they ask me to do the Watchtower. Mm -hmm. As a publisher, I do the Watchtower for the group. Then elders come to help the group, and that that makes the unity of the group. The group never become the same group, mm -hmm. united. Right. We love each other because instead I follow the book of the elders' book because I'm not an elder. I follow the Bible. Mm. Is why every time they ask me, I will wait connect the things with the Bible right. and what the Bible for them. Yeah. And some even to say, oh, you want to know that? Go with Lewis because he knows from the Bible. Mm -hmm. But the elders, when they come to help the group, they never use the Bible. Right. And instead progress, the group will go in down. And in 2006, an elder take over the group, an English elder, and he is desperated to make a congregation. Mm -hmm. And they started making elders from everyone, except from me. Mm. I'm not valid to become an elder because I know too much from the Bible. Right. Then It's a big red flag for them. Then I go back to the English mm -hmm. speaking. Then in 2012, when they have become a a congregation, I'm a ministerial servant at that time. I've been a ministerial servant for 28 years. Yeah. I come back to the Portuguese to help. And I've been there nearly four years. And I used to do the school. Mm -hmm. They say under the supervision of an elder. Right. And he knows, he knows le less than me in the Bible. Right. <laughs> it's funny because sure. I went to the Bible study with him. And he just quote and read the things. Chances are he's never read to, the Bible. Yeah, I need to explain the things to the, the to student, the elder. Yeah. even to the elder. Huh. And um, I used, in the meeting, sometimes have a two or three items, items together, mm -hmm. because sometimes they're missing the meetings. They never tell me anything. And I have to do the, the item used to be for them, I have to do it. Mm. So, and I start to see many things, they're not right. Even an elder become a pioneer to become a ministerial servant, an elder, because the family is, the father is an elder, the brothers, they are elders, mm -hmm. and he like to become an elder. Right. And he say to me, I don't like to be in a preacher work. Mm. And I like to go from door to door. <laughs> How can you supposed to help the brothers and sisters in the congregation uh -huh. in a preaching work is more important thing and you can not like to go there. Right. 
Mm. And they have to ratify him many times for the flaws he says in their talks. Uh -huh. One day he said, oh, uh, you know, the, the golden rule is not do it to the others, the things you know like to do it to you. Oh, yeah, that's negative. And I said to him, no, that is not what the Bible said. Right. Oh, what did I say? Well, go to Matthew 7, 12. Mm. And he go there and see him reading. At the time, he says, Gideon and the 300 men, he cash 300 forks and put the fly on the forks in the tail of the forks. And this is, is so many forks, you see, but he's not Gideon. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Samson. And he go to the Bible to say, oh, yeah, yeah. What an elder. Right. Or is a spiritual man. Mm. It's not. He treats the people like he treats his business um, and the people working for him. For him. Yeah, and they treat the congregation the same way, and I said this cannot be the true religion, and I start question is when the elders come to me mm -hmm. to question me, right, and is when I start to say oh now this must be supposing not like that and like that, but not, I'm just saying that just to to mix them right around you mm -hmm. hear the I heard the the audio and hopefully we'll be able to. Pre um, add that to the end of this interview for those who want to listen to the discussion because it's very revealing the elders really follow uh, a template right they start off by saying now we're only doing this because we love you and then they talk about division and don't talk to others about your your beliefs and don't think you know more than the governing body and it's all standard. We've heard it so many times yeah. before. It's like the yeah. program and to think this way. Yeah, it's like um, a computer program in mm -hmm. their brains. Um, but, uh, you know, a spiritual person don't need any leaders to lead them. Because all the, I think I, I, I sent to you, I don't know if you received uh, a thing from a guy living born in 18 something, 18 something, died in 1955. And he described, he used to be a priest and an archaeologist uh -huh. or something. And he talked about the spiritual man and the religion man, the religion man. A religious man and a spiritual man. Yeah. Okay. The difference. Right. And I read that and I find them interested because it's true. Mm -hmm. Because all religions, he said, is made by man. Right. And with laws and procedures and doctrines of man. Yes. And they, sometimes they oppress people. Mm -hmm. But a spiritual person no need to oppress anybody. Right. And when I read that, somebody put in a Facebook, a friend of mine, is not a religious person. But he believes in God, mm -hmm. and they put that. And I said to him, I've got to steal this from you, because I find them so interested. Right. Yeah. Mm. I will show you after okay. the video. And yeah. that is more or less my story, and I'm still here right. with God in my heart and Jesus. Yes. Well, we got to know Luis because he's been coming regularly to our Zoom meetings, and we agree with, with Luis in that uh, religion comes from men, so I, I don't use the term false religion anymore. That's a tautology, right? Mm -hmm. uh, simply religion. But worship can be true or false, and we try to worship God based on what the Bible says with Jesus as our only leader. And we just gather together to associate and build one another up in love and faith. And uh, if you want to join us and join meet Luis online, and many others like him, uh, go to bereans.net slash meetings. I'll put the link at the end of this video so you can join us at our meetings. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.